Hello all, welcome to orotainers.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we create a project and a task, and how do we generate a BIP report based on the project and task detail tables. So let's see how do we create a project. The first step, we have to navigate to project applications and click on project management page. And once you click on project management page, you will be navigated to this particular page, wherein it shows the list of projects which are available for that specific user. Once you see this particular dashboard, click on the task list. Once you click on the task list, you can see a list of tasks which are available. In that, in the initiate area, you have to click on create project. Once you click on create project, you can see a couple of fields which are mandatory to be entered. Mention the project name, the start date, and you can select the calendar, schedule type, and a work plan template. If at all, if you want your project to be generating a task based on the existing template. So ideally, you know, generally we follow a specific template. So you, once you select a template like this, once you click on save and close, you should be able to see a project with predefined tasks, which are defined according to the template, which you mentioned. Okay. So now, so far, what we have done is we just created a project and the tasks are generated based on the template, which we selected. Now we'll try to understand from technical point of view, how do we get a project as well as the task details. Let us understand that. So now as we see, the first one is like a project details. They are stored in a table called PJF project all be nothing but project foundation projects all be and the respective translation tables. And you can use a view link called project PJF projects all underscore VL. This is the place where, this is a table in which you get the project details. Similarly, the project tasks are stored in the PJF project elements underscore B and the TL translation table and the V PJF task underscore V this is a task table. And then you have a work plan template which gets stored in the PJ work types B. Similarly, project statuses will store in this one, project status B and the project types will get stored in the project types TL. And overall, if you can understand, let us say if you want to pull a simple project and task details, you can just join these couple of tables. And most of the tables here, if you observe, they are have a linkage of a project ID or maybe in the project type type table, you'll have a project type linkage, project type ID. Okay. Now based on this query, we'll try to design a simple BIP report. So I'll just navigate. First of all, we'll try to create a project and then we'll navigate to the BIP report. So now I have logged into my Fusion application instance. I clicked on project and click on project management. Now we'll select this particular task list. And here we'll select in the initiate section, we'll click on create project and I'll say XX or a project demo version two. And here I'll select a specific template, like a marketing campaign template. Click on save and close. This may take a couple of minutes to, you know, like a create a project and assign and load the task. Okay. Yeah, this is quite fast here. Yeah. <clears throat> now we're able to see a project and with a list of tasks which are available here. Now we can just simply close it. And you should be able to see the project here. Yeah, this is the latest project which we created except for a project demo too. Now what we can do is we'll just navigate to the VIP. So I'll just navigate to Fusion VIP. So here, so we have a, this particular query I have used here, this particular query which has projects all B, projects all TL, and the project task and the project types. So these two tables are joined based on the project ID and this third table also is based on the project ID only. And the only linkage for this one is project type ID. So this is a main query from which we are getting the project data as well as task details. Now the LOV is based on the project, only project header data. So this one we have joined with the projects all B and projects TL. And we are trying to fetch Project ID, ideally you don't require this TL table here. We can just have only segment one and project ID. So wherein you can get the project ID and you can pass a project ID from this LOV to the this particular main query. So now we can observe the main query. This is our main query and where we are expecting project ID from the parameter. So this is our parameter, which is based on the LOV, project number LOV. And this project number LOV has a query, this one, this is the project number LOV. Now, once you just navigate here and click on data, 
we should be able to see your parameter and you can select any of the project and we should be able to see the data. Now we are able to see the data of the task details for the selected project. Now what we can do is we can just create a template, right? So now what I'll do is first of all, click on save as a sample data. Now the report has generated sample data and it was saved. Now click on create report. And here you select the option use report editor and click on finish. So this step will create a report project details report. Now as of now there is no template available here. We have we can either upload the template manually or we can generate the RTF template based on the sample data which we said which we generated already. I'll just click on generate and I'll mention the template name as output. Click on generate. So this step will generate an RTF template. So I prefer to have an output. Yeah, let's go with HTML as of now and I will select click on save and click on properties and uncheck the auto run options because we want to use it to select the project number and you know like we want to make user to select the project number and click on a button manually. Now I'll just click on view report and here I'll select a specific project number. Let us say it is ending with 9821 and let us see what it will display. So we're able to see a 9821 report with a list of task details like this. So this is how you know like we can create a project in the fusion and we can generate a VIP report. If at all if you want to create the template manually what we can do is as we already have a sample XML data you click on export in the data model section. I'll show you that also. I click on catalog now. And here I'll edit my data model. And here click on data. And here click on view. And click on export. So this step will generate a XML file. Once you get the XML file, you can just save in your local system and you can observe the information like this. And open the MS Word. Click on black document, blank document. So now I'll select, I'll save the template. Let's save the template in the specific location. I'll say project details, TMPL, and the extension as RTF format. Now, BI Publisher, load the sample XML data, project details DM. And now click on table wizard, go with the default option, go with the default option here also, select the columns and click on finish. Our template is almost ready. You can just click on the respective output type. You can just see the preview. I selected HTML now. So I'll just see the HTML preview. Yeah, we got the data like this. And now the next step, what we can do is we can go to the report. So here, click on catalog. Click on edit. So this report is already having a template which we generated by default, right? But now we want to upload a manually designed template. I click on add new layout, click on upload. Now select the template which we created just now. So this is a report project details TMPL and I'll say output or maybe let us say project details RTF template. Now we can see the view as a list and you can see which one is the latest one and which is enabled by default. So by default, the existing one is enabled by default, but let us say I want to make the latest one as enabled by default. I'll select this and let the other things are same. Click on save, click on view report and click on apply now. Let's see how it works. And maybe we'll select some other project number. Okay, there is no task. It seems like there is no task data for that, probably. Right, so we are able to see the information properly. And of course, we can do a formatting a little bit. Let us say you can expand the size and all those things. And you can see the output in the old template also, similar one. The same thing. Okay, so this is all about, you know, like a creating a template of two approaches and also we have seen how do we create a project in the Oracle Fusion. Thank you.